So, you want to make a smoothie? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. No. Sorry, that's for my cooking show later on. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to make uh, some Twitch motion graphics uh, for sound. For, not for sound alerts. For alerts. Um, so I want to do this because I love motion graphics, you guys love motion graphics, so we're back with some more of them today. I want to go ahead and do a couple things, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and select our camera, go to the main tab, up here, sorry, the, the scene tab, rather, uh, and then we're going to change the resolution, we're going to change the Y value to 400, so it makes the camera really skinny, so hit zero on your numpad, now you can see it's really skinny, uh, now you can make this thicker if you want to, you can do like this, I think I might actually make it, nope. 500. Um, I might leave like this actually. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and select default cube, delete him, hit delete on that, then select our camera, and then hit Alt G and Alt R to clear location and rotation, and then hit RX and then 90, and then left click on your numpad. Uh, so 90 on your numpad, and then left click to confirm that, and then G, Y, and move your camera backwards. Zero to go back into the camera's view. Now we have all that set up. I'm gonna grab our lamp and also delete that because we don't need that. I'm going to hit shift A and we're going to search for a plane. This plane is going to be RX 90 to rotate that left click and then hit S to scale up a little bit until the edges are outside of the, um, the camera's view because we want it all to be inside. We don't want it to be like outside like that. So make sure it's all, all the way outside. Then hit S X to scale on the X axis. There we go. Thick him up, thicken him up like that a little bit. There we go. Now he's grown big and strong. He's, he's drank a lot of milk in his time. Um, so now. I'm going to go to the material tab here and drop this down to the material uh, that we already have in here. I'm going to change this from principal BSDF to emission because I'm going to make it shine bright like a diamond like Rihanna. And then we're going to go ahead and hit uh, the strength. I'm going to change the strength. No, we'll leave the strength on one. The strength will be fine there. Uh, but uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the render tab here. Go down to color management and then change the view transform from filmic to standard because I want it to actually be white. So the difference is you can see if we go to render viewport shading up here at the top, we can go to rendered. And then if I change this from back from standard to filmic, that is not white, that's gray. Now this is white, I want it to be solid white, that's the color that I actually chose. Um, so we'll go back to the material tab here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, shift A and we search for another plane. And then hit RX 90 on a numpad again. Left click to confirm that. Then hit S to scale it up a little bit like that. Um, and then hit G X to move it over to the left hand side until it's just on the edge Once again, we want these to all be outside of the, of the view a little bit So they uh, so we can't see like some of the white showing through there like that So yeah, that's what we want. All right now you can move this to the left side the right side do whatever you want I'm just making one specific type of alert um, But yes, all right, let's, let's get this thing popping um, Now I want to move these because you see they're on top of each other Which is why it's doing this weird glitching thing so we can fix that very easily by grabbing the uh, gray square We just added and hit G Y and then moving it up slightly so until uh, until it's not doing that weird glitching thing anymore now it's slightly above the white if, if we zoom in here you can see that it is actually you can see above the white it's not on the white anymore which is much better there you go so make sure that that's still on the camera yep it is we're good all right now i want to do a couple things with this i want to change this color from gray so hit new change the principal bs to a uh, mission and then change this to a color, I don't know, like blue or like yellow. I'm going to typically say that maybe you want all your alerts to match. So then you would just have like uh, maybe blue for if someone follows or green for if someone donates or red for if someone raids or hosts or whatever. So it just depends. But for right now, I'm going to do red because it really pops out. So we're going to do like that. Looks nice. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to select our camera and then go to viewport display and change the passer party. Um, all the way up so that we can't see any things we don't we don't need to be seeing. This is this is all we're gonna see in the final product. So there we go. All right now for a little bit of animation before we continue, I want to go ahead and animate the the base of this. Um, so I'm gonna change my start frame to zero and then go to zero. I'm gonna select both our white and red cubes here and hit G X and move them over until the red is out of the screen. Then I'm gonna put that right there. Then uh, just select the white, so click the white again, and then hit G, X, and then move that over all the way out of the camera's view as well. So now, I'm going to hit I, location, and then on frame like, I don't know, 20, I'm going to go to the second tab here and change our frame rate to 60, so that it looks better. And then on frame 20, I'll hit uh, G, X, move our white uh, plane back over, hit left click, then uh, hit I to insert another location keyframe. Now when we play this, it does like this. It slides over, which is nice. That's way too slow, though. So I'm going to change this to 10. There we go. And I'm also going to feather this. So 
on like frame 30, I'll hit I location. Then back on frame 10, which is the second frame, I'll hit uh, GX and then move it slightly back over so that it doesn't, it's not all the way up against the edge. Um, then hit I location. Now, it kind of like smooths over as you see. So that looks better. Nice. Cool. We're going to do the same exact thing with the red cube. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that red cube by hitting, uh, by clicking it. Hit zero to go into back into the camera's view. Um, click your middle mouse button, by the way, the button in the middle of your mouse, like the scroll wheel. Click it and then you can like move out of the camera's view, by the way. Um, all right, cool. So with the red cube selected, we'll go to the first frame, hit I, location. Then on frame, maybe 20, this one moves slower. Then it will hit GX and then move it over like that. Then hit I, location. And then on frame, maybe 60, we'll hit I, location again. Then back on frame 20, we'll go ahead and hit GX and then move it slightly back over to the left so that it smooths in. I, location. Now we play this, you can see. There we go. So they come in at different times, so it's not exactly the same. Looks good. I enjoy that quite a bit. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add in a couple things. So I'll hit Shift A and we'll search for a text right there. Hit RX 90 and then left click to confirm that. Uh, use the text tab here and then go down to font and then change and click this little folder and then select the font that you want to use The font that I'm gonna use is the font that I always use Kar Kar Karasuma Gothic black italicized So I'll hit S to scale this up just like that and then I'm gonna go to Scroll down to horizontal change it from left to center and then we're gonna go ahead and change the uh, Y offset to neg uh, negative 0.1, but this isn't getting the same value for every font every font is not the same uh, height, so you might need to play around with this until it's in the center, but obviously this is in the center of our text So I can go ahead and move this over hit G just to move it over by the way Hit tab to change the text and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna type um, uh, New in all capitals new follower Like that and then hit S to scale it down a little bit because it's way too big uh, I'm gonna go to uh, the main tab and uncheck viewport denoising real quick just because it's bothering me then hit G Move it up here, and then of course in your uh, Streamlabs or whatever you would have the name of the follower here, obviously. But that's you know we don't do that in Blender. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, this looks really good, but I want of course animate this because it you know needs to be animated. So I'm gonna go ahead and on frame maybe 50, I'll hit I. Actually, we'll do frame, frame like 40. We'll hit I location. Then on frame. 50 we'll do I location and then on frame like 90 we'll do I location so we have three uh, location keyframes I always do this because I want to get down the, the keyframes and where they where they sit before I actually start moving them around so on frame 40 which is the first one we'll hit GZ to move it all the way up out of the camera's view I location to reset that and then frame 50 I move it up slightly so GZ up a little bit I location perfect so now it does like that which looks really cool it comes down out of nowhere, and then it would say the name of whoever just followed, obviously, right there. Or new donation, or new whatever, or whatever that may be. So, um, very, very cool. I enjoy that quite a bit. Now, you can, of course, do something with this little red piece here. You can hit Shift A, and actually, quick, real, real quick, we can go up to Edit, Preferences, and then we can go ahead and actually uh, go to do, 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 Add ons, and then make sure Images as Planes is checked on. So, make sure that it's checked on. And then go ahead and, and close that out. And now we can go ahead and hit Shift A, search for an image, images as planes, and then you can open up an image, maybe an icon that you've made or something uh, that has to do with like a follower or a donation or maybe just your logo, which is what I'm going to do. So I've opened up my logo, which is this bad boy right here. Now we need to do a couple things, obviously. So I hit G to move it over. Obviously, we need to move it away. The same thing with this um, follower. Uh, thing, but I forgot to do this. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna actually move back the um, the plane. But since it's, we have lo location keyframes, when we whenever we try to move them, we have to move all three of the location keyframes. So that's kind of a pain to do. So what I'm gonna do is a really quick tip um, that I'll that I'll give you is you can just slightly go into you can go into edit mode and slightly change it so that the plane is is further back. So hit tab. To go into edit mode so tab and then double uh, tap a until everything's selected so all of these are selected there we go hit gy and then hold down shift and slightly move your cursor backwards so that you can push it back on the y-axis now you can see that it is no longer glitching and then now the new follower is above the white background cool 
Now, with our plane, with our image, sorry, we're going to go ahead and select this and hit GY, move it up above the red, of course. Now, we can leave this with this gray color that we have here. Hit S to scale it up. We can leave that with a gray because I actually really like the way that looks. Um, so I'm going to, actually. So we're going to select this text. We didn't give this a color uh, before. And I'm going to actually make a gray color. Change this from, to a mission. Sorry, there we go. Change this to a mission and then go ahead and make this a gray color. Um, cause I really like that and then select this to this object and now the thing is with this is because it's an image We can't just go ahead and change the color of it the same exact way So we would have to go in and change the emission color and then obviously this you know is it, we have to we have to do it like this because we can't just change the color of it because the color is an image. <laughs> um, so we can change the emission color here, which is what I'm going to do. There is other ways to do this, of course, but for the, for today we'll do it just like this because it's just super simple and it's just basically a gray color already anyway. And then of course you can just get rid of all of this by doing this: Shift A, Mesh, Plane, R X 90, G Y to move it up a little bit closer so it's not on not uh, clipping anything. Zero. Go back in camera view. S to scale it all the way up and then go to uh, new and then change it from principal BSDF to hold out and then hit G Z move it down hit I location on frame 140 G Z move it almost all the way up I location and on frame 1250 sorry G Z move it all the way up I location so now it kind of goes out of frame like that which is nice but of course we need to go ahead and real quick check and the main tab here film transparent and now it is transparent and to render this you will go ahead and render this as a ffmpeg video and then go down to encoding change this from matroska to quicktime changes a video codec from h264 uh, to MP FFMPEG video codec number one, and then make sure RGBA is checked. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. This is the full animation. There we go. Comes in, new follower, and then it will go away just like that. And I hope you enjoyed it. So that now will, of course, loop. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.